Why did my IVF cycle fail? There's no question that failing an IVF cycle can be heartbreaking. It's not just depressing for the patient, it's disappointing for the doctor too. We want all our patients to get pregnant as quickly as possible. We like cakes and chocolates. And a patient who gets pregnant after an IVF cycle is going to refer lots more patients to us. And when cycles fail, it's disappointing. And sometimes patients have questions which we really can't answer. The patient basically wants to know just two things. Why did my cycle fail? And what can we do differently the next time? The hidden subtext, of course, is did the doctor goof up? Did the doctor mess up? The problem is that our technology for determining the reason for IVF failure is really not very good. There are some things we can monitor, and we do. For example, the embryo quality. Was it a top quality blastocyst? We reviewed the images. Did the transfer go smoothly? Was the endometrial receptivity okay or not? Now, let's look at endometrial receptivity, for example. What we can do is check endometrial thickness and texture. But we also know that this is a fairly crude test, that there will be patients with a good-looking endometrium on ultrasound scans which don't allow embryos to implant. But the problem is we can't predict what those are. So obviously, science will then come up with new tests. We have an endometrial receptivity assay test, for example, or an ERA. Fancy, expensive test, costs a lot of money, gives us a lot of genetic information. But you know what the sad truth is? It doesn't help to improve clinical outcomes. Doctors still do the tests because patients have questions. We need to provide them with answers. The more expensive the test, the happier the patient is. And sometimes the happier the doctor is, even though he doesn't know how to interpret the test. And I think this is a problem, that more tests don't improve clinical outcomes. They just waste money and create false hope. And sometimes we tell patients if the cycle went perfectly, all you really need to do is be patient and repeat the cycle again until it works. Hang in there and best of luck.